En el día de hoy, JK English te trae la mejor estrategia para que puedas memorizar palabras y vocabulario en inglés sin ningún tipo de problemas. Hoy estaremos utilizando una técnica conocida como la asociación por videos y fotos, la cual le permitirá a tu cerebro asimilar mejor las palabras en inglés y poder recordarlas con mayor facilidad. Esta técnica le permitirá a tu cerebro asociar las imágenes con las palabras sin ni siquiera darte cuenta y sin el mínimo esfuerzo. Te recomiendo estudiar esta lección todos los días por los siguientes tres días para que puedas obtener mejores resultados. Comencemos con la lección del día de hoy. Let's begin. Sonia is in the baby's room. Sonia is in the baby's room. Sonia is in the baby's room. Sonia está en el cuarto del bebé. Sonia is in the baby's room. She is feeding the baby. She is feeding the baby. She is feeding the baby. La palabra feed significa alimentar. Feeding significa alimentando. She is feeding the baby. Ella está alimentando al bebé. Mónica is studying. Mónica is studying. Mónica is studying. Mónica está estudiando. Mónica is studying. She is studying in the attic. She is studying in the attic. She is studying in the attic. Ella está estudiando en el ático. She is studying in the attic. Jonathan has a lot of dirty clothes. Jonathan has a lot of dirty clothes. Jonathan has a lot of dirty clothes. Jonathan tiene mucha ropa sucia. He is going to do the laundry. He is going to do the laundry. He is going to do the laundry. Él va a lavar la ropa. He is going to do the laundry. Carlos is in the restaurant. Carlos is in the restaurant. Carlos is in the restaurant. Carlos está en el restaurante. He is yelling at the waiter. He is yelling at the waiter. He is yelling at the waiter. Él le está gritando al mesero. He is yelling at the waiter. He is making a scene. He is making a scene. He is making a scene. Los angloparlantes usualmente utilizan la expresión making a scene para referirse a que alguien está haciendo un escándalo. He is making a scene. Él está haciendo una escena. Él está haciendo un escándalo. La siguiente frase que estaremos viendo es She is taking a bubble bath. She is taking a bubble bath. She is taking a bubble bath. Ella está tomando un baño de burbujas. She is taking a bubble bath. She is relaxing. She is relaxing. She is relaxing. Ella se está relajando. It's already midnight and John is still working. It's already midnight and John is still working. It's already midnight and John is still working. Ya es medianoche y John sigue trabajando. It's already midnight and John is still working. My grandfather is cleaning the snow. My grandfather is cleaning the snow. My grandfather is cleaning the snow. Mi abuelo está removiendo la nieve. My grandfather is cleaning the snow. 
The police is trying to solve a crime. The police is trying to solve a crime. The police is trying to solve a crime. La policía está tratando de resolver un crimen. The police is trying to solve a crime. The woman on the floor was killed. The woman on the floor was killed. The woman on the floor was killed. La mujer que está en el piso fue asesinada. The woman on the floor was killed. My grandfather is in a video conference. My grandfather is in a video conference. My grandfather is in a video conference. Mi abuelo está en una videoconferencia. My grandfather is in a video conference. They are having a romantic dinner at the balcony. They are having a romantic dinner at the balcony. They are having a romantic dinner at the balcony. Ellos están teniendo una cena romántica en el balcón. They are having a romantic dinner at the balcony. He is moving to his new house. He is moving to his new house. He is moving to his new house. Él se está mudando a su casa nueva. He is moving to his new house. Marcos is watering the lawn. Marcos is watering the lawn. Marcos is watering the lawn. Marcos está regando el césped. Marcos is watering the lawn. La palabra lawn significa césped. Marcos is watering the lawn. Marcos está regando el césped. Sofía and her friends are in a Chinese restaurant. Sofía and her friends are in a Chinese restaurant. Sofía and her friends are in a Chinese restaurant. Sofía y sus amigos están en un restaurante chino. Sofía and her friends are in a Chinese restaurant. Mark is alone in a desert island. Mark is alone in a desert island. Mark is alone in a desert island. Mark está solo en una isla desierta. Mark is alone in a desert island. La siguiente frase es, The coach is explaining the strategy to the team. The coach is explaining the strategy to the team. The coach is explaining the strategy to the team. El entrenador está explicando la estrategia al equipo. The coach is explaining the strategy to the team. It's raining and Carla doesn't have an umbrella. It's raining and Carla doesn't have an umbrella. It's raining and Carla doesn't have an umbrella. Está lloviendo y Carla no tiene una sombrilla. It's raining and Carla doesn't have an umbrella. Matías is not sharing his umbrella. Matías is not sharing his umbrella. Matías is not sharing his umbrella. Matías no está compartiendo su sombrilla. Matías is not sharing his umbrella. Carla and Mark are getting wet. Carla and Mark are getting wet. Carla and Mark are getting wet. Carla y Mark se están mojando. Carla and Mark are getting wet. Andy and his friends work in a call center. Andy and his friends work in a call center. 
Andy y sus amigos trabajan en un centro de llamadas. Andy and his friends work in a call center. He hates his boss. He hates his boss. He hates his boss. Él odia a su jefe. He hates his boss. La siguiente frase que estaremos practicando el día de hoy es They are singing Christmas carols. They are singing Christmas carols. They are singing Christmas carols. Las palabras Christmas carols significan villancicos. Son canciones tradicionales que cantamos en la época de Navidad. They are singing Christmas carols. Ellos están cantando villancicos. Rosa's family is having a Christmas dinner. Rosa's family is having a Christmas dinner. Rosa's family is having a Christmas dinner. La familia de Rosa está teniendo una cena navideña. Rosa's family is having a Christmas dinner. They are praying, giving thanks for the food. They are praying, giving thanks for the food. They are praying, giving thanks for the food. Ellos están orando, dando gracias por la comida. La siguiente frase es Little Jimmy is opening his Christmas present. Little Jimmy is opening his Christmas present. Little Jimmy is opening his Christmas present. Esto se traduce como El pequeño Jimmy está abriendo su regalo de Navidad. Little Jimmy is opening his Christmas present. Everybody is enjoying the Christmas party. Everybody is enjoying the Christmas party. Everybody is enjoying the Christmas party. La palabra enjoying significa disfrutando. Todos están disfrutando de la fiesta de Navidad. Everybody is enjoying the Christmas party. The teacher is taking pictures of the students in the graduation day. The teacher is taking pictures of the students in the graduation day. The teacher is taking pictures of the students in the graduation day. El profesor está tomando fotos de los alumnos el día de graduación. The teacher is taking pictures of the students in the graduation day. Everyone looks very happy. Everyone looks very happy. Todos se ven muy felices. Everyone looks very happy. Dennis is happy because she is graduating. Dennis is happy because she is graduating. Dennis is happy because she is graduating. Dennis está feliz porque ella se está graduando. Dennis is happy because she is graduating. They are celebrating Brenda's birthday. They are celebrating Brenda's birthday. They are celebrating Brenda's birthday. Ellos están celebrando el cumpleaños de Brenda. They are celebrating Brenda's birthday. Brenda is turning 30. Brenda is turning 30. Brenda is turning 30. La palabra turning significa convirtiéndose, convertirse. En este contexto se utiliza para decir cumpliendo. Brenda is turning 30. Brenda está cumpliendo 30. 
Continuemos a la siguiente frase. Jonathan is being fired. Jonathan is being fired. Jonathan is being fired. Jonathan está siendo despedido. Jonathan is being fired. He is very sad. He is very sad. He is very sad. Él está muy triste. He is very sad. Carlos and his friends decided to go on a strike. Carlos and his friends decided to go on a strike. Carlos and his friends decided to go on a strike. La palabra strike significa huelga. Ellos decidieron hacer una huelga. Carlos and his friends decided to go on a strike. Francis is a scientific. Francis is a scientific. Francis is a scientific. Francis es un científico. He made an important discovery. He made an important discovery. He made an important discovery. Él hizo un descubrimiento importante. He made an important discovery. Josh is doing the laundry. Josh is doing the laundry. Josh is doing the laundry. Josh está lavando la ropa. Josh is doing the laundry. Por lo general, la palabra laundry significa ropa sucia, pero también puede significar lavandería. Laundry. Josh is doing the laundry. Leonor wake up early every morning. 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 Leonor se levanta temprano todas las mañanas. Leonor wake up early every morning. La siguiente frase es Morgan is doing a yoga routine. Morgan is doing a yoga routine. Morgan is doing a yoga routine. Morgan está haciendo una rutina de yoga. She loves to work out. She loves to work out. She loves to work out. Ella ama ejercitarse. She loves to work out. Monica and Josh went to a bar after work. Monica and Josh went to a bar after work. Monica and Josh went to a bar after work. Monica y Josh fueron a un bar después del trabajo. Monica and Josh went to a bar after work. They are drinking alcohol. They are drinking alcohol. They are drinking alcohol. Ellos están tomando alcohol. They are drinking alcohol. Junior is a thief. Junior is a thief. Junior is a thief. Junior es un ladrón. Junior is a thief. He was robbing a bank. He was robbing a bank. He was robbing a bank. Él estaba robando un banco. He was robbing a bank. Sack is milking the cow. Sack is milking the cow. Sack is milking the cow. Sack está ordeñando la vaca. 
Sack is milking the cow. Soila and her sister live in a farm. Soila and her sister live in a farm. Soila and her sister live in a farm. Soila y su hermana viven en una granja. Soila and her sister live in a farm. Antonio is dead and his family is devastated. Antonio is dead and his family is devastated. Antonio is dead and his family is devastated. Antonio está muerto y su familia está devastada. Antonio is dead and his family is devastated. Matías' family went to visit him at the hospital. Matías' family went to visit him at the hospital. Matías' family went to visit him at the hospital. La familia de Matías fue a visitarlo al hospital. Matías' family went to visit him at the hospital. He is very happy to see them. He is very happy to see them. He is very happy to see them. Él está muy feliz de verlos. He is very happy to see them. Ben is working late, but all he wants to do is sleep. Ben is working late, but all he wants to do is sleep. Ben is working late, but all he wants to do is sleep. Ben está trabajando esta tarde, pero todo lo que quiere hacer es dormir. Ben is working late, but all he wants to do is sleep. Sonia and Marcos are chilling at home. Sonia and Marcos are chilling at home. Sonia and Marcos are chilling at home. La palabra chilling en inglés significa relajarse. Por lo que Sonia and Marcos are chilling at home significa Sonia y Marcos se están relajando en casa. They are watching TV. They are watching TV. They are watching TV. Ellos están viendo televisión. They are watching TV. Carla is at home. Carla is at home. Carla is at home. Carla está en la casa. She is reading the Bible. She is reading the Bible. She is reading the Bible. Ella está leyendo la Biblia. She is reading the Bible. Continuemos con la siguiente frase. Jonas is eating dessert. Jonas is eating dessert. Jonas is eating dessert. La palabra dessert significa postre. Debemos tener especial cuidado al pronunciar esta palabra, ya que en inglés existen palabras que se escriben muy similares, pero significan cosas muy diferentes. En este caso tenemos la palabra dessert, que significa postre, y también tenemos la palabra desert, que significa desierto. La única diferencia entre la escritura de estas dos palabras es que dessert de postre se escribe con doble S, dessert, mientras que desert se escribe con una sola S. Postre se pronuncia dessert, mientras que desierto se pronuncia desert. Jonas is eating dessert. Jonas está comiendo un postre. Monica and Victor are drinking coffee. Monica and Victor are drinking coffee. 
Monica and Victor are drinking coffee. Monica y Victor están tomando café. Monica and Victor are drinking coffee. Joseph is in the kitchen. Joseph is in the kitchen. Joseph is in the kitchen. Joseph está en la cocina. He is cooking dinner. He is cooking dinner. He is cooking dinner. Como podemos ver en el pequeño video, Joseph está cocinando la cena. He is cooking dinner. La palabra dinner significa cena. Cooking significa cocinando. He is cooking dinner. Sasha and her friends are studying for their test. Sasha and her friends are studying for their test. Sasha y sus amigos están estudiando para el examen. Sasha and her friends are studying for their test. La siguiente frase que estaremos practicando el día de hoy es Sophie and Mark are paying attention. Sophie and Mark are paying attention. Sophie and Mark are paying attention. Sophie y Marcos están prestando atención. Sophie and Mark are paying attention. Nicole is reading a book at the library. Nicole is reading a book at the library. Nicole is reading a book at the library. Nicole está leyendo un libro en la librería. Nicole is reading a book at the library. Justin and Sarah took the kids to the park. Justin and Sarah took the kids to the park. Justin and Sarah took the kids to the park. Justin y Sarah llevaron los niños al parque. Justin and Sarah took the kids to the park. Lauren is training for the marathon. Lauren is training for the marathon. Lauren is training for the marathon. Lauren está entrenando para el maratón. Lauren is training for the marathon. She is jogging. She is jogging. She is jogging. Jogging significa trotar. Ella está trotando. She is jogging. Sam and Carol went camping. Sam and Carol went camping. Sam and Carol went camping. Sam y Carol fueron a acampar. Sam and Carol went camping. Carol was playing the guitar. Carol was playing the guitar. Carol was playing the guitar. Carol estuvo tocando la guitarra. Carol was playing the guitar. La próxima frase es David went to the doctor. David went to the doctor. David went to the doctor. David fue al doctor. David went to the doctor. He is very sick. He is very sick. He is very sick. La palabra sick en español significa enfermo. David está muy enfermo. He is very sick. Samantha is pregnant. Samantha is pregnant. Samantha is pregnant. 
puedes utilizar la palabra pregnant para referirte a una mujer que está embarazada. Samantha is pregnant. Samantha está embarazada. She went to the doctor. She went to the doctor. She went to the doctor. Ella fue al doctor. She went to the doctor. Ron and Marta are in a restaurant. Ron and Marta are in a restaurant. Ron and Marta are in a restaurant. Ron y Marta están en un restaurante. Ron and Marta are in a restaurant. Ron is drinking wine. Ron is drinking wine. Ron is drinking wine. Wine significa vino. Ron is drinking wine. Ron está bebiendo vino. Max and his friends love fast food. Max and his friends love fast food. Max and his friends love fast food. El término fast food lo podemos utilizar para referirnos a toda la comida rápida, ya sea McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, todo ese tipo de comida entra en la categoría de fast food. Max and his friends love fast food. Max y sus amigos aman la comida rápida. Continuamos con la siguiente frase. Diana and Mark like to go to the gym. Diana and Mark like to go to the gym. Diana and Mark like to go to the gym. A Diana y a Mark les gusta ir al gimnasio. Diana and Mark like to go to the gym. They exercise every day. They exercise every day. They exercise every day. Ellos hacen ejercicio todos los días. They exercise every day. Robert has a dog. Robert has a dog. Robert has a dog. Robert tiene un perro. Robert has a dog. Robert took his dog to the park. Robert took his dog to the park. Robert took his dog to the park. Robert llevó a su perro al parque. Robert took his dog to the park. Charlie is in a party. Charlie is in a party. Charlie is in a party. Charlie está en una fiesta. She is dancing with her friends. She is dancing with her friends. She is dancing with her friends. Ella está bailando con sus amigos. She is dancing with her friends. My friends and I went to see a movie. My friends and I went to see a movie. My friends and I went to see a movie. Mis amigos y yo fuimos a ver una película. My friends and I went to see a movie. The movie was boring. The movie was boring. The movie was boring. La película estuvo aburrida. The movie was boring. Joseph is at the supermarket. Joseph is at the supermarket. Joseph is at the supermarket. Joseph está en el supermercado. He is buying some groceries. He is buying some groceries. He is buying some groceries. La palabra groceries significa comestibles. 
He is buying some groceries. Él está comprando algunos comestibles. Julia is sleeping. Julia is sleeping. Julia is sleeping. Julia está durmiendo. She is very tired. She is very tired. She is very tired. La palabra tired significa cansado. Ella está muy cansada. She is very tired. En este caso también podríamos decir exhausted. Exhausted significa agotada o exhausto. She is very exhausted. Ella está muy agotada. Christina is cleaning the room. Christina is cleaning the room. Christina is cleaning the room. Christina está limpiando la habitación. She works as a housekeeper. She works as a housekeeper. She works as a housekeeper. Se conoce como housekeeper a toda aquella persona que labora en un hotel y se encarga de limpiar y organizar todas las habitaciones. Housekeeper significa ama de llaves en español. She works as a housekeeper. Ella trabaja como ama de llaves. Joseph works from home. Joseph works from home. Joseph works from home. Joseph trabaja desde la casa. Joseph works from home. He is taking care of the baby. He is taking care of the baby. He is taking care of the baby. Él está cuidando al bebé. He is taking care of the baby. Continuemos con la siguiente frase. They are in a business meeting. They are in a business meeting. They are in a business meeting. La palabra meeting significa reunión. Business significa negocios. They are in a business meeting. Ellos están en una reunión de negocios. They are taking a break. They are taking a break. They are taking a break. La palabra break tiene varios significados. Puede significar romper o tomar un descanso. They are taking a break. En este caso significa que ellos están tomando un descanso. They are taking a break. Jennifer is having lunch. Jennifer is having lunch. Jennifer is having lunch. Lunch significa almuerzo. Jennifer is having lunch. Jennifer está almorzando. Jennifer is working hard. Jennifer is working hard. Jennifer is working hard. Jennifer está trabajando duro. She is very stressed. She is very stressed. She is very stressed. Ella está muy estresada. She is very stressed. Stressed significa estresado o estresada. Biden is the president of the United States. Biden is the president of the United States. Biden is the president of the United States. Biden es el presidente de los Estados Unidos. Biden is the president of the United States. Joseph is at the airport. Joseph is at the airport. Joseph is at the airport. Joseph está en el aeropuerto. 
Joseph is at the airport. He can't find his baggage. He can't find his baggage. He can't find his baggage. Él no encuentra su equipaje. He can't find his baggage. Pasemos a las últimas frases de la clase del día de hoy. Marta won the marathon. Marta won the marathon. Marta won the marathon. Marta won the marathon. Marta ganó el maratón. Marta won the marathon. Carl was really tired. Carl was really tired. Carl was really tired. Carl estaba muy cansado. Carl was really tired. Hemos llegado al final de la lección del día de hoy. Espero que les haya gustado bastante. Te recomiendo que estudies esta lección todos los días por los siguientes tres días. Así le darás la oportunidad a tu cerebro de que vaya fijando cada uno de los conocimientos de las palabras que aprendimos el día de hoy. Te pido que por favor te suscribas al canal, le des like a este video y actives la campanita de notificaciones para que no te pierdas ninguno de los siguientes contenidos que estaremos preparando especialmente para ti. Y que me dejes saber en los comentarios qué te pareció la lección del día de hoy. Nos vemos en el próximo video.